Industrial hemp is growing. Some think it could become a billion dollar industry and Milwaukee city leaders don't want anyone left out. It opens the door to everyone. Everyone, everyone. The Common Council unanimously passed a resolution Tuesday calling on the state to lift restrictions on hemp licenses, joining the federal government and allowing people with drug convictions more than a decade old to get in on the hemp industry. The people here in Milwaukee want to make sure that those who have made previous uh, transgressions have the opportunity to rehabilitate themselves and also make an a honest uh, earning. Alderman Rainey describes the hemp industry as a potential gold rush, and the city is currently studying whether its Century City campus could house a hemp factory. Industrial hemp and its CBD oil are used to make all sorts of things from health and beauty products to construction materials. The controversy around it stems from the fact that it's closely related to marijuana, but without the chemical that gets you high. Yeah, I think there's a lot of misconceptions, and we do our best to, to clear that up through education. Laura Morrow manages one of the area's first hemp stores and believes it's a good idea to lift some of the restrictions on the industry. Do you support the idea of opening this up to people who've had previous drug convictions? Sure, yep, I do support that, but I also support uh, compliance and regulation in other ways. Well, Kent, does today's Common Council vote change anything? No, it's just symbolic, really, in uh, support of action at the state level. But Governor Tony Evers has proposed loosening those restrictions around hemp and uh, CBD oils. And he, it's in conjunction with his proposal to legalize medical marijuana in the state. Meanwhile, and this is just in, some Democratic lawmakers in Madison tomorrow plan to reintroduce a bill that would fully legalize marijuana in Wisconsin. We'll be sure to follow that. Kent Wayne Scott reporting live in Milwaukee.